Hi, this is Prachi. I am lactation consultant from Prachi Lactation. In the last video, we discussed about breastfeeding post mastitis. In this video, we shall discuss about breastfeeding in low birth weight baby. Now let's first see when is the baby considered low birth weight. A baby is considered as low birth weight baby when the weight of the baby is below 5 pounds or 2500 grams. Let's see the causes of low birth weight babies. Complications developed during pregnancy and birth because of hypertension and diabetes. Multiple babies because there are more than one babies in the womb. One baby gets more nourishment and the other gets less. Premature babies because they are born ahead of time so their body is not fully grown. Unhealthy habits like consumption of alcohol, smoking or irregular diets can also cause low birth weight babies. Age can also be a factor when the mother is younger than 17 years or older than 35 years. Now let's see what are the problems that can manifest when the babies are low birth weight. Sucking of the baby is affected as there is lack of coordination in sucking. This affects their ability to draw adequate milk from the breast. This can make the baby fall asleep at breast and also not gain the weight appropriately. Thermal instability that means these babies are not able to keep themselves warm on their own so they need external help for that. The respiratory functions are still not mature and the baby will have poor airway functions in the initial weeks. Now let's see some of the measures that can help the mothers to care for low birth weight babies once they are at home. Always feed the baby following baby led breastfeeding. This is done by following the feeding cues. More information on baby led breastfeeding and feeding cues is given in the separate videos which I am linking in the description box below. If the baby doesn't get up for 4 hours, then it is advisable to wake the baby and feed. This can be done by removing the clothes and by tickling the baby on feet. If that also doesn't work, then put the baby skin to skin. Normally, warmth of your body will help you to arouse the baby. The second important aspect is to observe the sucking of the baby. It is very important to see if the baby is sucking and swallowing or only sucking. This is important because if the baby is not swallowing after sucking every few sucks then that means that baby is doing non nutritive sucking. Feed the baby with top up milk. If you see that the sucking of the baby is weak and baby is falling asleep quite often at breast then it is advisable to express the milk and feed the baby. You can express the milk either by hand expression or by using a breast pump. It is advisable to feed this milk using syringe feeding or cup feeding. But to use both these options it's very important that you are properly advised on the use of these devices. Effective emptying of breasts. It is important to effectively empty the breasts by expressing the milk 8 to 10 times every 24 hours. This is very crucial in initial few days as breast milk supply is building in the first 4 to 6 weeks. If you effectively empty the breasts, there is good possibility of developing adequate milk supply for your baby. The last but definitely not the least 
is restrict the use of pacifier for first 4 to 6 weeks or until the baby sucking improves. If the baby does lot of sucking on pacifier then there are chances that baby will be tired when baby has to actually suck at breast. This was all about low birth weight babies. A link to free printable on tips for breastfeeding low birth weight babies is attached in the description box below. In the next video we shall be discussing about colostrum the first milk. Hi this is Tresha. If you want more details visit our website www.prachilactation.com Check our Instagram handle for regular tips and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. If you, if you want any topic to be discussed, link it in the comment. This is Tisha signing out. Bye-bye.